Good Monday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar out there. And you can see in the southeast, there is quite a bit of moisture out there uh, tracking, I would say, our way, but it's actually going to stay to the south of us for the most part. We'll get brushed a little bit by the edge of it but the majority of it's going to stay to the south and to the north. And here's what's going to happen. So we've got two lows here. Let me turn on my drawing tools to pretty much uh, explain this to you. So we've got this first low. Well, okay, there we go. It came back up. I thought my satellite data was going to drop on me for a second. So we've got this first low. It's actually going to split moisture and take it this way. And the second low down here is going to split moisture and kind of take it this way and leave this big open void right here in the middle. So it's gonna split this rain, in other words, and uh, leave this void in the middle. And if you notice, we're right in the midst of all that. And so with all this rain and freezing rain and sleet and, and snow that's going on, especially with you know what caused this big snowstorm in Texas yesterday, uh, it's actually gonna just go right around us on the north and the south and uh, keep us from getting hardly anything from this. What we do get will be rain, but I wouldn't count on much of it. Let me go ahead and, and uh, clear these off real quick, and we'll go ahead and close out the drawing tools and take you over and show you the model data now. And so this is as of 1 p.m., and you can see, as I mentioned earlier, uh, some of the moisture would go to the north, and if you notice, it's so far north of us that it's not even showing on this model data information here, and then the rest of the moisture would go south, and you can see there's a little bit down here in South Carolina. This is 1 p.m. this afternoon. So let me go ahead and click on the models and we'll take you by. And this is gonna be in three hour increments. So this is now 4 p.m. And you can see a little bit of rain has passed uh, through the Southern part of the county. And, uh, but it's very isolated. And again, this is 4 p.m. this evening. We'll go ahead and take you to now 7 p.m. Look at all the rain well south of us, even south of the Charlotte area. Uh, this is now uh, going on 10 p.m. this evening. And by 1 a.m., you see there's just a little bit, but for the most part, it goes away. So what we're going to do now real quick, we're going to take a quick break, listen to a uh, message real fast from our friends at uh, Visit Row Inn as we give it another go here uh, this year to try to get back out and start doing some things. And we'll come back. We'll give you the weather impacts for today. I'll tell you who's going to see potentially some rainfall and who might potentially get some accumulation. And we'll talk about the five-day forecast. When you're ready to travel, let's give it another go. The weather impacts are sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated. The 2021 all season passes are on sale now. You can use promo code FARMLOVE and get $20 off your 2021 all season pass. That code's valid through February 28th of this year. And again, uh, this gets you unlimited visits to Patterson Farm throughout the 2021 season. So there's a lot of things that happen out at the farm, a lot of uh, uh, activities, and this gets you some access to those activities, uh, especially unlimited visits again to the farm. So if your kids like going out to see the animals or just doing different things around the farm, it is a good, uh, good cheap way to get out there and get some visits in and not have to worry about and buying passes every time you go. So certainly check that out. You can visit pattersonfarm.com forward slash all season pass. If you uh, think about it later and you can't remember that website address, you can remember ruancountyweather.com. So just head over to our website and that same banner you see at the bottom of your screen is going to be on our homepage. Just click on the banner and it will take you over to the Patterson Farm website for all the details. Today we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the day. Winds are going to be really light uh, out there today and We've got isolated rain chances later, but I wouldn't count on much. As far as the accumulation totals go, I basically have zoomed into the areas in the county that could see rain. So essentially the southern part of the county, the southern half of the county has really got the best chance of it. Uh, Rockwell could see as much as two tenths of an inch, Granite Quarry maybe a tenth of an inch, China Grove a tenth of an inch, Enochville a tenth of an inch, Kannapolis maybe you could see two tenths of an inch, could see a little bit more. Uh, if you head out to Gold Hill, you could see maybe two tenths of an inch, uh, but the further north you head, the less chances you have of seeing any accumulating rainfall today. Again, because that 
moisture is going to be split by these two lows. Some of it's going to be taken north of us. The rest of, the rest of it's going to be taken south of us. So uh, certainly going to uh, have an impact on how little rain we see here in the county. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them at www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $20 or $25 off your first time service call. Today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies with a high of 47, 30% chance of isolated showers this afternoon and evening with a low of 32. Again, remember, if you're in the southern part of the county, that pretty much uh, you've got the best bet as you head further north. Uh, your chances pretty much drop to zero. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 52, low of 27 with mostly clear skies. Wednesday, sunny skies, high of 52 with mostly clear skies. Wednesday evening and a low of 28. On Thursday, sunny skies, high of 54 with a low of 33 and mostly clear skies Thursday evening. Thursday is going to be our warmest day of the forecast period here. And then on Friday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 53, low of 30 with mostly clear skies. Looking ahead, uh, there are some uh, scenarios that play out with the models that do show us getting cold air back into the area again. So the last half of the month could be very winter-like in terms of the cold air. Now it's a matter of getting some of the moisture to come in. Uh, starting to see some opportunities for a chunk of the polar vortex to break off and dips uh, for, far enough south to really give us a uh, some very bottled up cold air that has been bottled up in Canada and the opportunities for it to get uh, quite cold. I mean, really, we could see, again, some of our coldest temperatures of the season uh, as we head into the end of January. The thing we're going to need with that would be the moisture. So if you're a snow lover, you want that cold air and the moisture to kind of get here together. If you get the cold air before the moisture, you're going to end up with cold rain. Uh, if you get the cold air uh, after the moisture, obviously you're going to end up with just cold air <laughs> after it's rained. So again, you've got to have that perfect timing to get snow here in the Carolinas, and they both have to mesh together. So we'll keep an eye on it. But as of right now, it looks like for now, we're certainly going to get the cold air. It's a matter of if any kind of uh, moisture comes along with it along the way. So we'll certainly keep you updated. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with the Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you know someone who doesn't utilize the internet or social media, they can check us out on cable television at WSRG TV in Salisbury. And we can certainly keep you updated there. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16, and we'll keep you updated on those outlets as well. As always, thank you for following us at Rowan County Weather. We'll keep you updated if any rain actually does make it far enough north to impact any areas of the county. As always, uh, have a great Monday.